Good evening friends. Today I would like to talk about myth, the myth behind Onam. We all know the myth behind Onam. But I think new generation don't know this myth. Especially in the case, case of my daughter. She doesn't know the myth behind Onam. So I would like to explain about this story. We Keralites celebrate Onam in an elaborate manner. When I think about my childhood, I thought about Onam vacation because we can enjoy the Onam vacation and we can pluck, we can pluck flowers and gather many kind of flowers. We make a floral carpet in front of our door or courtyard. What carpet? Floral carpet. What is that? Pukana. Actually, it was a very, uh, it was a very good celebration, very enjoyable celebration. Friends, I would like to talk about the story. There was a king called the Mahabali. He ruled our Kerala years and years ago. He was an Asura king, and you know, he was a judicious ruler judicious ruler and there was no poverty and all people are equal and irrespective of caste and religion and there, there was no crime nothing was there then you all know about the deva king devendra he always jealous of other rulers he afraid of his familiarity then the Devendra, the king of Devas, approached Mahavishnu and he told this matter to Mahavishnu. And then Mahavishnu agreed that I would help him, help you. Then he disguised as a small Brahmin boy. At that time, Mahabali was conducting Yaga. Mahabali was conducting Yaga. And then this Brahmin boy, this you know, this Brahmin boy is the incarnation of Mahavishnu. You know what is incarnation? No. Can you explain? Avatara. Okay. You know, Mahavishnu has ten incarnation. Uh, this uh, Vamana is one of the incarnations of Mahavishnu. And this Vamana came to this place. That means the place which Yaga is going on. And that time Mahavishnu asked, what do you want? Actually, he, Mahavishnu gives whatever they ask. If any people ask anything, he is ready to give. And then Vamana asked, to three steps, only three steps. Then he is a small boy. Ah, three, sorry. Three steps land. Then, uh, then Mahabali didn't uh, understand anything. As usual, he promised him to give that three steps of land. Then he agreed. He agreed. Suddenly, the Vamana began to grow. A huge size. Yeah. And Mahabali wondered. <laughs> and then... He, uh, Vamana measured one step in earth and second step in sky. There was no th third step. There was no land. Then Mahavishnu understood that it was not a common Brahmin boy. Hmm. Then he bowed his head and Vamana pushed him to netherworld. Netherworld means Padala. Hmm. Netherworld. Before pushing him to another world, the Vamana asked, Do you have any wish before going to another world? Then uh, Mahavish, Mah, sorry, Mah, Mahabali asked that, I want to visit my people once in every year. Once in every year. This day we celebrate it as Ona. So, we Keralites believe that Mahabali visits our home every onam. So, we make floral carpet and not only that, we make feast 
in malayalam it is called satya there was a feast in our there is a feast in our home ah uh, onam satya it, it is called onam satya also and we get we people get new dress it is called onakodi is there any english word for satya satya feast we can say feast but in in this case we can say ona satya okay. it is correct word ona feast it is yes. correct and we celebrate in a elaborate manner okay thank you With what is what is the english word for pookalam floral carpet so many people do not know this floral carpet and the avataram incarnation incarnation netherworld paadalam paadalam okay this word netherworld is a new word for me mm. paadalam mm. and yes. do you know there is a one paadalam very near to kalameshwari and mm. elu mm. do you know that yes i know that place and uh, there is another place called trikakara mm. many people believe that the native place of mahabali is ernakulam trikakara is it true No sir it is not true hmm. actually it is a myth everything is myth